Morning, morning. It's Thursday, the third week of Lent. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. Now, as we gather, church is supposed to be people that work together. We work together to build the kingdom of God in this fragile world of ours. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We implore you most humbly, O Lord, that as this feast of our salvation draws ever closer, we may press forward all more eagerly toward the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts, and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly, all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks, and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing songs to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his, his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Machmasa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts, and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So in thinking about today's Gospel, I thought, you know, what to talk about? It's kind of an interesting Gospel driving out demons. And I thought about it a little bit further, and I thought, you know, if people truly didn't believe that Jesus was driving out demons by the power of God, they thought that he was driving out demons by the power of Satan. I thought that was interesting. You know, if they couldn't recognize the work of God in Jesus, then how did they do it for you and I? I thought about that. How does God work in our lives every day? You know, it's the Lenten season. We're trying to get closer to God during the Lenten season. We're trying to pray more, be better to people forgive people more, give more charity, all those kind of things. So I thought, we need to recognize how God works in our lives, all the good things, you know, 
I thought about that in my life. I thought of a few examples. I would, probably wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for the power of God working in my life. I never thought I would be able to stand up and talk in front of people. I was always shy, a little bit kind of nervous in talking, but by God's will, I'm able to do it. So I hope that some of the messages come across and, and resonate with people. I'm, I'm uh, thinking that it's God's message, not necessarily mine. And it's, you know, you ever wonder, you listen to that small voice, that conscious voice in your heart, in your head, not to do something or to do something. Well, that's the power of God working in your life. So I think we need to recognize that. Doesn't matter if it's the smallest of small things going on in your life or the largest of decisions that you have to make. God is involved in everything in your life. We just need to slow down, listen to what God has to say to us, what he's working on in our lives, what is his will for our lives, what is our mission. So I think all those things that we need to try to discover as we go through our life, and we're not gonna discover them all at once because life is a journey. We try to get better each and every day. That's why Lent is a great season, because we try to work on ourselves a little bit, we try to get closer to God, try to get better with people. So I ask you to reflect upon how God is working in your life today and all those things. Be grateful for what he's doing in your life. God bless and stay safe, my brothers and sisters. As we continue now with these prayers. For our church, may it always be a community of love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are struggling in life, may be transformed by the almighty power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, especially the coronavirus, may they be healed by God and comforted by others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety, and may they be closer and closer together during this Lenten season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to continue to bless our Lenten journey through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have spread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice on our hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's whole church. Cleanse us, O Lord, from every taint of wickedness, that our gifts may be pleasing to you, but do not let us cling to false joy, for you promised us the rewards of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Father, you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. So we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. We remember Josephine Mirabelle, 
James Sable, Francis Laskowski, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our Lenten journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, through love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.